probably the summer of 2000. So about almost 17 years ago. My dad works worked for a, uh, still works for a company called DDI. It's like Development Dimensions International, their consulting firm. And he just got moved from Sydney to Pittsburgh. I guess in the grand scheme of things, of being an immigrant, I've been treated uh, very well. Because uh, it's easy for people to look at me and not even know that I'm an immigrant. So I don't really get um, any prejudice against me not being American. Because people look at me and just think that I belong. Because I look like I belong. I'd call myself an American, but I would also call myself an Australian. I, uh, I grew up, I mean, even though I grew up in America, I was still raised by an Australian woman who had those ideals of what it's like to be an Australian, what it's like to grow up being Australian. So I was raised in that sense, in an American culture, and in an American world. So um, the ideals that my mother taught me the Australian ideals and the Australian culture integrated with the American culture and I've become an Australian-American type of human being. I don't feel like I'm an American citizen because I'm not an American citizen. I'm currently in the process of doing that and in the whole process, yes, I do have to take tests and I do have to provide papers and go through the whole process. Even though I've been here for 17 years and I've gone to school here and I've paid taxes here, I have jobs here, I've contributed to this country, yes, I still have to go through the whole process. I think there's many Americans that are ignorant to the whole immigration ideal, thinking they look at illegal immigrants and they'll be like, why can't they just become legal? Why can't they do it through the right process? Um, the answer to that is because it's, it's expensive and it requires a lot of resources and a lot of things that um, an immigrant coming from a poorer country or someone who doesn't, you know, came from poverty or a refugee, it's, it's, not, it's not an easy thing. It's not like you can just go to a building and say, give me a citizenship. It's a very long, complicated process and it's hard for anyone who comes from a hard situation to go through. So when Donald Trump does a ban on immigration or doesn't want to take in more refugees, it's, I, I, I get why he would want to do that and why he thinks that might be good because he doesn't actually understand what it is to be an immigrant and to um, have to go through the process of leaving your home country, forced or not. Yeah, we do the same things I feel like anyone here would do. Um, my mom, you know, cooks dinner and we, you know, give each other gifts or, you know, chocolate if it's Easter or, um, you know, things like that. But uh, it can be sad because, you know, that's the time when people get together with their families. They get together with their cousins and their aunts and their uncles and their grandparents. And I can't do that. It's, it's... Uh, you know, our holidays, dinners are just any normal family dinner. Just a little bit more nicer than what it usually is. But, um, and yeah, it can be hard sometimes, especially when it gets around, you know, those times of holidays when you are supposed to be with your family. It's hard to, um, you know, be cheery about it because you're supposed to be with your family and you can't.